soils are often described as teeming with life. Indeed, the number of organisms in one handful of soil count into the billions. They are responsible for the functioning of the soil and as such underpin agricultural systems. It sounds crowded, billions of organisms, as if every single space within the soil is full of soil biota. However, this is not the case. Although individual numbers of soil organisms are exceedingly high, they occupy less than 1% of the total soil surface, and they are not evenly distributed within the soil. Instead, they form biological hotspots of activity where the soil microsite conditions are favourable for their growth and survival. Here, for example, the blue fluorescent stain indicates colonies of bacteria amongst the brown matrix of soil particles and organic matter. These biological hotspots can be thought of as islands of biological fertility, surrounded by the harshness of the soil surface environment. How can this be? Billions of individual organisms in a handful of soil, only colonising 1% of the soil surface? Well, the other amazing fact about soils is the incredible surface area of sand, silt, and especially clay particles. 50 grams of soil has a surface area equivalent to a football oval. However, the vast majority of the microsites in soil are not suited to colonisation by organisms. The few microsites where water, organic carbon, nutrients and a suitable pH are available are key to their survival. Both climate and management alter the microsites within the soil that are suitable habitats for colonisation by soil biota. It's a tough life for any soil biota in the southwest of Western Australia. Those that are present have adapted to withstand the harsh summer periods of aridity and extreme soil temperatures, as well as being able to respond to the frequency of wet and dry cycles during the winter growing season and the numerous agricultural management practices that influence the soil.